Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I wanted to get up on here real quick and just kind of like, um, I have something on my heart, my mind, my spirit. There's so many things going on in this world today, but one of the things that God wanted me to tell you is that you're seeing all this evil, but it's been here before. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God said it's always been here. And guess what? All we did was shade places with Jesus or Judas. Which one are you? You heard me just like I said it. Jesus. Come on. Let me tell you what Jesus asked Judas in Luke twenty two forty eight. 48. He said, but Jesus said unto him, Judas, betrayest thou the son of man with a kiss? And y'all wonder why people doing what they doing? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm talking about choices. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me break this thing all the way down. You know what God said? God said, be careful that you make right choices in this hour. Because the enemy, let me tell you something. The enemy is trying to cause confusion. But what he's really trying to do is get you to sell your soul. Now, hold on. You got to understand what that means. What would you do? How far would you go? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. How much character do you have? Do you have integrity? If you need it, let me tell you something. If somebody came to you today or tomorrow, and that's a man or a woman these days, and say, I pay your whole mortgage off. All you got to do is sleep with me. Would you do it? How many of you have you already did such things? Oh, come on, somebody. Ain't nobody judging. I'm talking about some truth up in here. God says, be careful. Make wise decisions in this hour. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he's not playing with you. And he will dangle that carrot. Oh, he knows what you like. He's been watching you your whole life. He knows how you like it, when you like it, who you like it with. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying up in here. God says, which character will you possess? Judas or Jesus? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because we're always singing about it. I mean, we wear the little bracelets talking about what would Jesus do? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Make good choices in this hour, God says. This is the last hour. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to make some good choices. I'm talking about you going to have to make some hard choices. Hallelujah. Integrity and honor. It comes with a cost. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all know what y'all seeing right now? Let's just be real. I'm talking about all over the world. You're seeing people that compromise, even in the church. They'll do anything for a Klondike bar. I'm sorry, for a dollar. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be funny, but I'm serious. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to count the cost. Because here's the deal, and I and I'm I came on here to hit fast and get off because I have class tonight. But I'm gonna tell y'all something: every decision you make, you better count the cost. Because one day, and this is very serious, what I'm getting ready to say: one day you're gonna have to meet your maker, and judgment. We all gonna have to stand up to judgment. I don't care what you say. And some of you right now, well, I don't care. I'm gonna wait till I, okay, whatever. It's greater later. You better believe that. You gonna have to pay the piper one day. I don't care what you say. You could talk all big, bad now, or whatever the case may be. But everything you do comes back to you. And guess what? Every word that you say is being recorded by the angels. Come on, somebody. So you're going to have to give account for what you do, what you don't do, what you say, and what you don't say. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I want to ask you something. When you get before God and you will, what you going to say? He don't want to hear no excuses. He don't want to hear what, you know, I had to pay my bills. I had to do what I had to do. I had to do a little strange things for some change. I'm telling you right now, count the cost, said the Lord. You have to walk in integrity and honor. It's about character. Most people don't have character. And the only time people really repent is when they get caught. Don't play with me, y'all. And then half of them don't do that. Half of them pay people off. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm just telling the real stuff. Hallelujah. God is watching everything. He told me to tell you he's watching everything and everybody. That's me included. He knows what you're doing. And, and I, don't, I don't understand people. Do you not think that God is seeing what you're doing? But I know how most people are thinking. You know, I, I, I can get away with it. Yes, for now. For now. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God keeps telling me. He said, all you did was trade places with Jesus or Judas. Are you going to walk like my son? Be conformed like my son? And do what he did or you're going to be like Judas and you're going to sell your brother and sister or even yourself. Because check this out. I, I don't know if you ever had it like this. He just didn't sell Jesus out. He sold himself out. Come on, somebody. And hold on. Look what they did. They knew it. The enemy always know who's the weakest in your circle. Y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's why I don't roll with weak people. I don't. I love everybody, but I don't roll with you. Because guess what? If you love money, honey, or funny more than God... You cannot be trusted. I just said something. Y'all sitting up there rolling with people that will sell you out. You don't hear what I just said. Hallelujah. If you love money, because guess what? They knew what Judah's heart was about. And he knew what was going on. 
come on somebody hallelujah but he didn't think they was going to kill him that's what it was well you know maybe i can just get this money on the side and i just because they ain't gonna do nothing to jesus and then when he realized he had been had because the devil always lies to you come on somebody hallelujah count the cost people of god i'm so serious People are doing strange things for some change. People are doing things. God says that he never, I'm talking about that. You can't even be spoken of in this hour. That's why they selling kids, trafficking kids, money. It's all about money. Come on, somebody. That's what this live was about. Will you sell your soul for money, honey, or funny? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because one day you're going to die. And I want to leave you with this question. Where will you spend eternity? Now, y'all can sit up there and act like y'all don't believe in God. You can sit up there and act like hell not real. You can sit up there and play crazy. But one day, where you going to lift up your soul at? Oh, oh, trust me, your body dies. Oh, that's real. But your soul is eternal. It's just sleep. The ones that are dead, they just sleeping right now. But when God, ha <laughs> ha, hallelujah, come back, that's judgment right there. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And I just want you to count the cost. Have integrity. Walk in honor. You got too many people just doing any and everything. And I'm going to tell you what God says. God said, Deanna, they do it because of fear. Y'all feel man more than you feel God. I just said something. Y'all feel the government more than you feel. I'm saying what I'm saying. You can take it how you want to take it. I really don't care. You mean to tell me you get this far in life and now these people can scare you? How do you think Jesus and the disciples did with it? That's why he took 12 of them. He, you know what he was doing? He was training them. Let me show you how to walk and how to talk and how to preach before me. And yes, you're going to die for me. There it is right there. We have a church that don't want to die for Jesus. But you, you, you'll do anything for that money. You'll do anything for that funny. You'll do anything for that honey. But you don't want to live for Christ. Not for real. Not for real. Come on, somebody. And I'm going here. And the ones that do live for real, I'm keeping it real. Oh, they crazy. Oh, they just paranoid. Oh, they tripping. <laughs> Mark my words when I say this. Y'all going to be looking for us when all that stuff break out. Oh, I'm going to say it one more time. Y'all going to be looking for people like me. Mm. And the sad part, you won't be able to find me. Oh, I'm just going to keep it real. That's what I do. <laughs> so you can play crazy now. <laughs> we are the forerunners. We're supposed to tell you what's to come. We're supposed to tell you, hey, this is coming. This is what's happening. And I know I I I, can, I understand that it can be fearful. I can understand it could be like, oh my God, I want to hear this. I get it. But I tell you one thing. I rather people tell me the truth than sitting up in the church where they lying to you and saying prosperity. Turn around five times. You're gonna get rich. You're gonna be prosper. If you see that this world is not getting any better, and the sad part is it's not, it's written, God says. It must. Everything must come to pass. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So all I'm saying is, if you're going to live for Jesus, live for Jesus for real. Hold on. That's in public and in private. Because most of you live in public, but then in private, you're a whole different person. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, we don't know who we're going to get. Some of you are doctor, apostle um evangelist i don't trust you because i don't know who i don't know who i'm talking to i don't know who you are because do you know what holy means in the greek word it means one i don't know who you are <laughs> jesus don't know who you are <laughs> come on somebody hallelujah some of y'all just got so many personalities meaning that whatever you got to do that's who you are there has to be some standard brought back to the body of Christ to where I walk it, I talk it, I live it, and whatever happened, God be with me. That's how we do it. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All right. I just want to get in and out. God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. And I'm going to ask you again. All we did was trade places with Jesus or Judas. Which one are you for real? <laughs> All right. Roll lot. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Rule our soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.